People are dying for inches in Ukraine, the world's largest arms fair. There's a heartbreaking graphic going around right now showing the almost microscopic changes that have occurred to the front line of the war in Ukraine this year. Despite nonstop death and destruction of unfathomable horror the entire time. The graphic comes from a New York Times article titled, Who's Gaining Ground in Ukraine? This Year, No One. Which eventually gets around to acknowledging that Russia has actually gained more ground in, than Ukraine in 2023, despite Kyiv's much hyped counteroffensive, which began in June. When both sides' gains are added up, Russia now controls nearly 200 square miles more territory in Ukraine compared with the start of the year, the Times reports. As Left Eye on the News noted on Twitter, this contradicts the titular claim in another New York Times article published last week under the headline, Ukraine has gained ground, but it has much further to go. The reason the map of gains and losses is so heartbreaking is because so much has been given up for so very, very little. At least tens of thousands have died in this war, with hundreds of thousands wounded, all for those teeny tiny little blips on the map. Ukraine is now freckled with more landmines than anywhere else on Earth, which experts say will take decades to clear. This giant death trap is exacerbated by the cluster munitions that are covering the land with greater and greater frequency, which will go on to detonate and kill civilians, mostly children, for years to come. The mines and artillery fire on the front line of this war are reportedly creating tens of thousands of amputees, numbers comparable to what was seen in World War I. And all for what? Essentially nothing. A few inches gained here, a few inches lost there. War is the worst thing in the world. The suffering, trauma, and loss of mass military violence is too much to comprehend, even for people who are right there experiencing it. And the only thing worse than a war where one side gets completely steamrolled by the other is one in which people keep killing each other and killing each other over tiny gains and losses on the battlefield without an end to the nightmare anywhere on the horizon. And now we see Western officials and media outlets telling us all to prepare for this war to drag on for years, potentially into the 2030s. This nonsensical violence, which even the head of NATO now admits could have been avoided by simply ceasing to amass a Western military threat on Russia's doorstep, is scheduled to drag on as long as possible for no grander reason than the advancements of U.S. strategic interests. This news from the New York Times comes out at the same time as a Wall Street Journal article titled, The War in Ukraine is Also a Giant Arms Fair, subtitled, Arms Makers Are Getting Orders for Weapons Being Put to the Test on the Battlefield. The Panzer Haubitz Howitzer is part of an arsenal of weapons being put to the test in Ukraine in what has become the world's largest arms fair, writes Wall Street Journal's Alistair MacDonald. Companies that make the weapons being used in Ukraine have won orders and resurrected production lines. The deployment of billions of dollars worth of equipment in a major land war has also given manufacturers and militaries a unique opportunity to analyze the battlefield performance of weapons and learn how best to use them. This is one of those things that just sounds a bit uncomfortable at first. But if you really sit with the words and deeply contemplate what's being said here, it will show up as so deeply evil it will give you nightmares. The fact that weapons systems are being tested on human bodies to the immense benefit of war profiteers over a completely avoidable and deliberately provoked war is one of the most depraved things you could possibly imagine, and is a clear sign that we are living in a profoundly sick society. This is so, so ugly. And it's slated to get even uglier. These freaks haven't even started on China yet. The sooner this monstrous power structure can be brought to its knees, the better it will be for everyone.